The Ministry of Interior has unveiled an ambitious smart security roadmap for 2027, aiming to equip the Rangers and Provincial Police Forces with a fleet of 10,000 surveillance drones. The plan focuses on urban crowd control and border management, shifting law enforcement from reactive policing to real-time aerial monitoring. Officials state that the first batch of quadcopters, equipped with facial recognition software, will be deployed in Karachi and Lahore by mid-next year to curb street crime. In a rare convergence of superpowers, the Reco Dick mining project in Balochistan has been designated as the primary anchor for US-China economic diplomacy in 2026. Diplomatic sources reveal that Washington and Beijing have agreed to a commercial truce centered on this project to ensure global copper supply chains remain stable. This unprecedented cooperation could see American technology firms and Chinese mining giants working side by side in Pakistan, turning the province into a unique buffer zone for great power competition. A major leap for air defense, Pakistan has commenced local production of the HQ-19 long-range air defense system. Often compared to the American TARD, this system specializes in intercepting ballistic missiles outside the atmosphere using kinetic kill vehicles. By manufacturing key components domestically under a transfer of technology agreement, Islamabad aims to drastically reduce the cost of shielding its airspace from high-altitude threats, effectively closing the gap in strategic missile defense. The indigenous Sharp R-3 combat drone has officially made its operational debut in North Vatsirshtan. In its first confirmed strike, the male, medium-altitude long-endurance, UAV successfully neutralized a high-value target using the new laser-guided Bark II missile. Defense analysts highlight the Sharp R-3's new AI-driven targeting pod, which allowed it to identify and engage the threat autonomously in difficult terrain, marking a maturity in Pakistan's homegrown unmanned warfare capabilities. From Gwadar to Washington this is PAC Geo Defense Update, Pakistan's voice in the world of defense and geopolitics please subscribe. Turning to the Hall of Africa, Islamabad has issued a strong condemnation of Israel's formal recognition of Somaliland. The Foreign Office has termed the move illegal and destabilizing, arguing it violates the sovereignty of Somalia and sets a dangerous precedent for secessionist movements globally. Analysts view Israel's move as a strategic play to secure a foothold in the Red Sea, flanking the Arabian Peninsula. Pakistan, along with Turkey and key African nations, fears this recognition will fracture the security architecture of East Africa, potentially drawing the region into the proxy wars of the Middle East. Islamabad has vowed to lobby the OIC to block any further international recognition of the breakaway state. In a developing story that is sending shockwaves through the Gulf, Riyadh has officially issued a high-level national security warning. The alert comes amid a dramatic strategic shift in the Yemen conflict. Reports indicate that Saudi Arabia has formally requested the withdrawal of United Arab Emirates forces from key positions within Yemen, marking one of the most significant fractures in the Arab coalition since the war began. The warning, described by Saudi officials as a matter of supreme regional stability, signals deep concern in Riyadh that an abrupt Emirati exit could create a dangerous power vacuum, one that Houthi rebels and extremist groups are poised to exploit. For years, the UAE has been the primary architect of security in southern Yemen. However, Riyadh's demand suggests a total breakdown in consensus over how to govern liberated territories and who holds the ultimate authority over Yemen's strategic ports. As diplomatic lines between Riyadh and Abu Dhabi remain tense, the question is no longer about the war with the Houthis, but whether the coalition itself can survive the weak. In East Asia, the drums of war are beating louder. The Japanese cabinet has approved a record-breaking defense budget for fiscal year 2026, aimed squarely at deterring China. The budget includes funding for the mass production of long-range cruise missiles and the construction of new Aegis-equipped destroyers. Prime Minister Tokyo stated that the security environment has fundamentally changed, 
necessitating a shift from a purely defensive posture to one capable of counter-strike operations. This massive militarization is alarming Beijing, but for nations like Pakistan, it presents a new diplomatic opening, as Japan seeks non-traditional security partners to secure its energy lifelines through the Indian Ocean. Back on the ground, the Pakistan army is changing the tactical reality of infantry warfare. The military has begun the widespread deployment of pocket drones palm-sized nano-UAVs, to frontline platoons along the line of control. Dubbed the eye over the hill, these tiny devices allow individual soldiers to scout enemy bunkers and defile aids without exposing themselves to fire. Unlike larger drones controlled by headquarters, these are personal assets for squad leaders, giving them unprecedented situational awareness. Defense experts say this decentralization of surveillance technology will make ambushes significantly harder to execute against Pakistani patrols in mountainous terrain. A major thaw in South Asian diplomatic ice, direct flights between Karachi and Dhaka are set to resume in January. Suspended for years due to political acrimony, the restoration of this air link signals a significant shift in Bangladesh's foreign policy under its current administration. The move is expected to boost bilateral trade, particularly in textiles and pharmaceuticals. Beyond commerce, it symbolizes a normalization of ties, moving past the historical grievances that have defined the relationship for decades. For Islamabad, reconnecting with Dhaka is a key pillar of its Look East policy to break out of regional isolation. In the mountains of northern Pakistan, Elite special forces from Pakistan and Tokyo have concluded their most intense joint exercises to date. The drills focused on hybrid warfare scenarios, specifically clearing complex tunnel networks and combating drone swarms in high-altitude environments. Footage released by the ISBR shows Turkish border Berilayla and Pakistani SSG operatives conducting synchronized air assaults. This interoperability goes beyond training, it establishes a framework for potential joint deployments in future conflict zones, cementing the perception that an attack on one is an attack on both. From November 24 to the 27, 2026, the eyes of the global defense community return to Karachi. The 13th edition of Ideas is here. This isn't just an exhibition, it is a declaration of innovation. Pakistan is set to unveil a revolution in indigenous, AI-driven electronic warfare. Experience the future of the tactical theater with autonomous drone swarms and high-precision intelligence systems, designed and built to secure the modern battlefield. Join 500 global delegations as we bridge the gap between strategy and technology. Ideas 2026, Arms for Peace Through Intelligence. Let's enough for today. Share your thoughts in comments section, and please answer today question.